our expectations don't change. And that's the beauty of what we do. Uh, the first real game I truly remember, obviously as a little kid, I think uh, I might have been in the concession area because my grandfather was a was a a police. I don't know if he's a police chief, but in the police force. And I think maybe we uh, went on Saturdays to sell French fries or something, but never actually saw the field. But as I started to get a little bit older, remember uh, Keith Byers running down the field with uh, with one shoe on. I think uh, that's probably one of the not that I ever was going to be a running back, but really remember that uh, something that stands out in my mind. So I actually got coached by John Hicks in uh, Little League football. He took me to a first ever Ohio State Michigan game and actually got to be on the field as the team came out. And um, that's probably the, the first real true introduction to Ohio State football that I can remember. You know, I hate to say it all, but uh, I thought I wanted to get away and maybe even try a, a Notre Dame or a Michigan or a Penn State. Um, but really, really sold when I came here and did actually an official visit to, to know the people and meet the people. And um, it became very, very easy for me. When someone asks me what's the best memory you could have, uh, they always are looking for individual things. And I can really tell them, I said, the best memory I can have is taking that jersey off for the last time at the Rose Bowl as a, as a champion. And that's something that reigns in my mind. And you don't remember nearly as much of the individual things. It's most of the team things. It's the things you did as a group. And as your career in playing days start to end, uh, you start to look back and to reflect and to realize the people that had a, an unbelievable impact on your life and the respect you have for them. And, and not that they weren't some teachers or some, um, obviously my parents are, are, are huge, but a lot of the people outside of my family that you have, I had looked back and reflected on it, my coaches from the time I was, uh, you know, a kid growing up, obviously John Hicks is a little league football coach. I mean, there's a lot of things that I say, oof, wow, I went through that, you know, all the way into junior high, to high school, to, you know, Bob Jacoby was my high school coach, and, you know, Mark Crabtree, who's a local coach, and Brian White, all guys that were position coaches for me. And then to come to Ohio State and have guys like Fred Puggage and, and Coach John Cooper, you all of a sudden start to reflect and you realize the respect you had for those guys and why. And uh, it became a lot more evident to me at what I wanted to do. Life is 10% of what happens and 90% of how you respond to it. And when opportunities come, you know, you've got to take them. And if you're hesitant, they'll pass you by.